What's going on YouTube? Raging Kodiak, we got an absolute banger for you. So today I wanted to deep dive into some of the victims and give you one tip for every single one of them. There are five in the game, each one of them have different abilities, different strengths, and different weaknesses. So today we're going to show you one tip that I think is important to know, whether it has to do with their ability or what their strengths are. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get after it. Jumping right in to Connie. So Connie has one of the highest proficiencies in the game. Now with that, you will are able to open up locks at a very, very quick rate. Her ability is she can use a focus and instantly unlock them. However, I believe people play her wrong. What I would recommend is open as many doors as you can. A lot of them in the basement and don't just try and speed run your way out of the match. Don't just open one door, go speed run the fuse and then turn around and come right back. Spend some time opening up the doors because that will allow your teammates to have safe routes and safe passage. So they have a higher chance of escaping as well. And it's not just all about you, Connie, we're looking at you. Plus, every time you open a lock, you get more points. That's pretty nice if you ask me. Next up, you got the himbo himself, Leland. Now this finely dressed lad is known for his shoulder checking ability. Now he's not known for being the most subtle. However, if you use him correctly, you can take care of grandpa. You can bully the family members and basically give your teammates the breathing room that they're going to need to be able to escape the trial. Just like you, you're a little bit tougher. So you're able to go ahead and give Mrs. Doubtfire the old shoulder check and get her on the way. And you know what? That buys the team time to get to the exit. Next, we got Anna. Anna is an absolute Reinhardt. She is able to absorb the most insane amount of damage. I use her in situations where I will pop the ability right when a fully revved up Bubba is ready to drop the chainsaw on my head. And if you look closely, it results in just about no damage. And with the right perks, you can pretty much just be full health the entire match, thus giving you the most amount of ability to escape the trial. And I believe she's the most beginner friendly because of her survivability. Now this forgotten soul is probably one of the least played and least picked victims because of his, well, misunderstood ability here. So he has the ability to basically have x-ray vision through the walls. Now, I only had him at level one, but at level three, your x-ray ability will then be able to decide who is where, thus giving you decision-making skills of, okay, can I go upstairs? Is this room safe? Is this room not? So take some time, learn his ability. Lastly, we have Julie. So Julie has an ability where she can then pop it and hide her footsteps and her marks from Cook and Johnny. So if you're trying to be a little bit more evasive, pop it when you know Cook is listening for you and you can make your getaway. And there you go, your five minute TCM victim tips. If you feel like I've missed something, do me a favor. Let me know in the comments below for a chance to be featured in next week's video. But until the next one, be good to yourselves, be good to others, tell some bitch you love them. If you like what you see, be a friend, tell a friend. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until the next one, much love all.